Hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will talk about the top 10 tips and tricks in blender which will speed up your modding so let's start from number one which is the dissolve selection so for example if you have this edge and you want to delete the edge loop but want to maintain the shape so it's very easy just uh, x and make it dissolve edges you can also dissolve vortex and dissolve edge so if I, I select the dissolve edge it will look something like this for example if we have some more loops and we wanted to delete it but we want to maintain the shape so just select it and x and delete the okay the number two is edge or vertex slides for example if you want to move an edge loop or an vertex or an edge but you don't want to uh, destroy the shape of it you want to just slide it so for that we need to uh, press the double g and then drag it so it will snap to the body and it will grab it number three repeating action for example you do some simple action like if, if i go to the edit moon and try to duplicate it with some distance and i want the same distance and the duplicate so i will press ctrl shift and r and it will repeat the process so it can be very handy if you want to make something like steers EDC so just like if I duplicate something like this and then shift shift and R and it will repeat the process and this and in this way you can uh, create something like steers EDC so number 4 is the bewild in edit mode so for example if we have these cubes and we add a bewild modifier so it will uh, affect all the object but what if we want to a specific edge or a part of or a part of a cube so select the edge and press ctrl b and make it slide and here is it the number five is the extruding to the cursor So for example, uh, we can extrude a face simply and then we can drag it around where we want. But there is another cool way of doing it. So what if we press Ctrl and Shift and right click. So it will uh, extrude it to the cursor which we want. And in this way you can create some crop shape or anything related to it. And it can be very handy sometimes and it can be very helpful. Number 6 is the bridge edge loop. For example, if we want to connect these loops around, so all we need to do is just to select it and then F3 and search for bridge edge loop. And here is it. And it will automatically bridge it out. You can do the same thing with here. Bridge edge loop. Number 7 pivot point individual origin For example if we want to scale it these spaces but we don't want to scale it to the center Like if I did it so it uh, looks something like this But I don't want it so uh, all I need to do is just to enable a simple option for this Which is the individual origin So now if we scale it we can do it And it will scale individually one by one We can also do it uh, with 3D cursor there is another option like if we I move the 3d cursor here and then I choose the 3d cursor option so now I can scale it to the 3d cursor cool right number 8 randoms transform for example if we want to create a forest so all we need to do is just to duplicate it sometimes this is a simple tree but now if we look at it it's like the same position and the same scale and the same rotation so we don't want it we want to randomize it so all we need to do is press F3 and search for randomize so here is it randomize transform and we'll get a simple menu here if we click on it and if we change the, some values something like if we change the rotation of Z so as you can see we can get it here is an also another option of random seeds so we can get the random seeds tip number nine 
what X group usage. Here is a simple cube which I the top of it I deleted. So for example if I want to add a solidify modifier to it so it will affect all the cube which I don't want it. I want it to be a specific edge or specific place. So what I need to do is just to select the pass and then go to the vertex group and create a vertex group and now if I go to the modifier setting and add a solidify modifier and add the group. So now the modifier will affect only the group which I added. So it can be very handy if you wanna make something like uh, uh, adding to uh, an effect to a specific place. Tip number 10 Skin Modifier Modeling. It is the really cool way and all of the way I use it most of the time for creating something like a, something like a gel or anything else. So I add a skin modifier and then control A to scale it down. And if we control R and add some edge loop so it will create automatically something like this which can be very handy. So if you wanna make something like this it can be very handy. So thank you guys for watching bye if you like the video then please hit a like and subscribe for more bye.